Today, we'll make the site responsive. First, let's get some information about breakpoint weight. So open the Andesan website, click components and layout, go all the way to the bottom and you will see all the breakpoint width over here. Our website has got the maximum width of 1170px, so we will test from extra small to large device. Now let's test them in large device. So open the website, open developer tool, click toggle device toolbar, then on top you can type 992 and hit enter key. You can then test the website from top to bottom. It looks everything is fine in this device. Now let's check them in medium device. So on top you can type 768 and hit enter. If you notice the contact information is hidden, it's because I have added display known in span tag in my CSS. If you scroll down, we need to work on this hero block. I want to make full width for both of them. So open your code editor, open components, home and hero.js. At the moment, in large device, we have a grid value of 18 and 6. And now, we want to make full width in all small devices. So let's add extra small. And here, let's add the grid value of 24. Let's add same information for this information block. Check the side. And now, both of them are full width. Let's also add some spacing over here. So in, in the scatter, let's add 24 for both row and call. Check the site again and this time we can see a gap. Now let's work on the recent product. Here in small and medium device, I want to show the product side by side. So open recentproduct.js, add SM with a grid value of 12. Check the side and you can see them side by side. If you want to add some spacing, then in this cutter, let's add 24 for both row and call. Check the side again and now we can see some spacing as well. Great. Now scroll down and let's work on this block. If you wonder why the image is not showing over here, it's because I have hided them using the CSS. Also, I have reduced the padding and height in this block. For these product categories, instead of showing 5 or 6 items, I just want to show 4 items. So open product categories.js. And in the scroll element, let's add SM and add the grid value of 6. Check the side. And now in small and medium device, it will show 4 items. For the sale product, again, I want to show them side by side. So open saleproducts.js. In call element, let's copy this grid value and add them over here. Also in the gutter, let's add 24 for both row and call. Check the site again, and this time it looks good. Now let's test footer widget and a footer. 
Both of them looks good to me. So we can test in small device. On top, type 576 and hit enter. So here, top bar, header, hero and recent product looks good. Let's work on this information block. I want to make full width for both extra small and small device. So in the school element, add XS with a grid value of 12. You can add in another call element as well. Check the side and now both of them is full width. Let's also add some spacing. So in the scatter, add 24 for both row and call. Check the side and this time it looks good. Now scroll down, product categories looks good, sale product looks good, top brand is fine. Let's work on this photo widget. So I just want to show them side by side. So open common, photo widget.js. So in first call element, In small device, I want to add a grid value of 12. I want to add same grid value for all call elements. Check the side again. It looks good, but let's also add some spacing. So in the scatter, let's add 24 for both row and call. looks good scroll down and footer looks good as well now let's test them in extra small device so on top you can type 480 and hit enter so here top bar looks good header looks good we're gonna work on responsive menu in the next session hero looks good for this recent product we will make them full width. So open recentproducts.js. You can add XS and add a grid value of 24. Now it looks good. Then the information looks fine. And for this product categories, let's just show two items side by side. So open productcategories.js add xs and a grid value of 12 take the side and now it looks good for the sale product i want to make them full width so open sale products.js in xs add a grid value of 24 looks fine For these top brands, I want to show them side by side. So open top brands.js. In XS, add the grid value of 24, sorry, 12. Finally, let's work on this footer widget. I want to make them full width. So open footer widget.js. In every call element, add XS with a grid value of 24. Take the side again. And now it looks good. Now let's work on the about page. Again, let's start testing from the large device. Open about page, you can test from top to bottom, looks good to me. Test in medium device. Again, it looks good to me. Likewise, test in small and extra small device.
and this piece looks good in all devices. Now let's test them in soft beads. Again, we'll start from large device. Here it looks good. Let's test them in medium device. So here I want to show them side by side. In fact, we can copy the code from recent product.js. So copy and paste them under soft.js. Let's also add the cutter of 24 for both crow and coal. Check the site again and this time it is looking good. Let's test them in small device. Looks good. Finally, let's test them in extra small device. Looks good. Now test the FAQ page. Let's check in large device. It's fine. Check them in medium device. Let's check them in small and extra small device. And even this page looks good in all device. Finally, let's check the contact page. In large device, it is good. In medium device, it is looking good as well. Likewise, in small and extra small device, it is looking perfect. Great! This is the end of this session. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. Thank you.